Hello everyone, it's me again. Welcome back. Today is my last day of my break. I go back to work tonight. I leave at 12 a.m. So I need to get everything ready. I'm currently on the way to my car and then I'm gonna go back home, grab the clothes that I need to wash. And then we're gonna go to the groceries, get everything we need to meal prep what we're gonna eat for five days. So yeah, I'm gonna be taking you guys with me today. Like I said, we're gonna go wash and then I'm gonna go to the groceries and then we're gonna do some cooking. And then I'm gonna show you guys the commute on and how it works you get me like the drive to the airport and then me hopping on my plane and how long the ride is and then me landing at my home base or at my my base where i'm based out of which is iah yeah tag along let me just get to my car <laughs> it's like a block away because i don't have any parking but um yeah having such a long break is fun but then it kind of sucks because then you get used to being home and I like I get really lazy. I don't want to go to work. You get me? Because I just I've been home for like about a week. I was comfortable, and now I have to leave for another week, and I'm gonna miss my home. But hey, <laughs> we gotta do what we gotta do. So I changed my mind. I just came to the laundromat and got quarters. There's one in my apartments. I just wanted to come out here because it was going to be a little bit easier, but the gate at home is closed or it just doesn't work. So in order to get in, you have to wait for someone to buzz you in. And in order to get out, you got to wait for someone to buzz you out. So I didn't want to go wait through all of that. So I just came, got some quarters, and then I'll just wash back at home. We're going to go to the groceries right now, get the chicken, get some uh, veggies, and then we're going to be cooking some fried rice. So yeah. Look at this bike though. Isn't it nice? It's a Harley. Yeah, the interior of my car looks kind of clean, but it's actually dirty, but we're at Northgate. We're gonna do some shopping. That's me. <laughs> All right, so I suck at this vlogging thing, but I'm gonna get some chicken. Let me get this guy right here. It's, a, it's like ultra thin chicken or something like that. So I usually mess it up. I usually get like too much chicken. So hopefully that's good enough. I don't know if you could tell, but I'm number 93. They are at 97. So I'm gonna go do some other shopping. I feel so weird recording myself. But yeah, I have mostly everything that I need. I'm gonna do like frozen veggies to make my life easier. And then I wanna get like snacks and stuff. I think I have oatmeal. I might do like some granola bars or something. Oh, it's a little chilly in here. Some peas and carrots. I'll just throw that in the rice. Oh, I need some garlic butter. Yeah, I like to throw some, um, I'll show you guys later, but I do sesame oil with some soy sauce. Um, I like garlic butter just because it kind of tastes a little bit better with that. Peas and carrots is the first time I'm gonna try doing that. I usually just do the chicken. Okay, this is my first time doing this in public, so please bear with me. It's almost as if like my first time being out in public. Yeah, I don't think they have any garlic butter. Uh, I hate shopping when I'm hungry because then I want to buy everything. We're at the granola bars. I think I'm gonna get a little pack of granola bars. One peanut butter and dark chocolate. There we go. Damn, five dollars. That's expensive. Ooh. I mean, I think this would last five bars. A bar a day. Damn, that's like a dollar something a day. I still have oatmeal at home, so I think that would be good enough. They're at 86 and I'm 93, so I still have time. Let's see what else I need. I have some food at home, so I think I'm gonna buy some of this just for that. I could drink it later. Granola bars or just protein bars for the day when I get hungry. This is for today. This is for today. This is for the fried rice. And yeah, they just called my number. Me puede dar una libra de la pechuga ultra delgada? That's todo. Gracias. There's too many people here. Let's go. Let's get out of here. That's it. We are, we're good. We're good. Let's get up out of here. We're back home now. Uh, going outside with the camera can be a little bit intense. But we're finally back home. We got our garlic. I didn't get garlic butter because I totally forgot. But yeah, we got the chicken and then we got our frozen veggies, peas, and carrots. And then we got the rice cooking up. It's almost done. I think I put too much rice in here. It's only in two cups, but I put three cups. Uh, I might have overdone it, but whatever. And then we got our pot that we're going to be frying the chicken in. 
I swear the vlogs are gonna get better as I make more, so bear with me. Yeah, we're gonna start doing the chicken first, and we'll do the rice once it's done. But I'll, I'm gonna cook the chicken, take it out, then mix it into the fried rice once it's ready to go. And then these are a little bit like frozen still, so we're gonna let them, you know, thaw out for a little bit. All right, let's set it up. So in order for the rice to come out really good, you need soy sauce, I've shown this before too, and sesame oil. These are the main two that you need in order for the rice to be like good, like good fried rice. And then garlic butter, but we're just gonna use regular butter. Um, the garlic butter is just like a, like a little plus. I only mention it because when you go to like a hibachi spot, they use garlic butter and it comes out really good. So if you want really good fried rice, I suggest using the garlic butter. So we start off with sesame oil, just pour a little bit. I tend to use a lot, honestly, but it's not good to use a lot. Just use a little bit. Then we'll add a little bit of the soy sauce. This is the soy sauce usually for the rice, but I'm going to add some for the chicken. Oh, okay. Let's not do that. <laughs> All right, maybe we'll just add it to the chicken. <laughs> not on the, on the pan. So just add it to the chicken. Just a little bit. And then we're going to just dump the chicken in the pot. All right, we threw the chicken in. Now we just kind of let it sit here for a little bit. Eventually it will get kind of like juicy almost, like you guys saw in my last video. It'll sit uh, and it'll kind of like cook in its juices. The reason why I like to put it on high is because like right now, it's not doing anything. I feel like it doesn't cook, but it, it is, but it feels like it's not cooking and I'm very impatient, so I'm gonna cook now. Like this is what I mean. It starts kind of like juicing up and it starts like cooking in its own like juice. Chicken's done. Check it out. We're gonna let it sit for a bit and then we're gonna do the rice now. So for the rice, and you could do this for the chicken too, I'm gonna add some garlic with the oil. So I'm gonna let the garlic sit there for a bit, kind of like marinate the oil. And once that's good, we're gonna throw in the rice. Then after throwing the rice, we add some good old soy sauce to the rice. You guys are gonna see right now though. If you see, there's like, it's kind of like crispy, you know, like the, the garlic is getting crispy. That's when you throw in the rice. So here's the rice. I might have done too much rice, but hey. Supposedly these are for the, hit, the, for the heat, but I can still feel the heat. All right, so now that the rice is on. Oh wait, the wrong one. Rice is on, you add the soy sauce. I like to add butter too, because I don't know, sometimes I feel like butter kind of helps it. I'm probably gonna add like half of this. And I've never really cooked, I haven't cooked with like peas, peas and carrots, so I think I'm only gonna add like a, like a handful maybe, not too much. Here's what it's looking like for right now. It's not done, and then we're gonna add the chicken in a little bit. Are right, we gonna add the chicken now. I don't know if you could tell, but I think I added too much water on the rice because you see how like it's really stuck together. Like it's not too green. It's okay though. It'll, st it'll still taste good. All right, we're done. It's moment of truth. We're gonna try it. I think I've done better, but it's not that bad. It'll do for five days. All I need it is for five days worth of food. There's one. I think I have enough for five days. It looks like a lot, so. Two, three. That's four, that's kind of like four and a half, but let me make sure I feel all of them. I did have enough, okay. This is at the bottom. It's burnt rice. This is the big bro is getting ready for a tattoo event. But uh, I just got done washing. I'm gonna let everything just kind of cool off because it's hot. And then we're gonna put it in that bag. Yup. Uh, one of my friends has my laptop, so I'm gonna go pick it up real quick and then I'm gonna come right back, fold all of this, and then start packing. So I'm back home. I just packed my luggage. I'm gonna show you guys what I have in it. 
starting off strong, I have my tank tops. Five of them comes because it's a five day trip. I have shorts, an extra work shirt. I have, this is, I forgot what this is called. It's a thermal shirt. It's like a little, like a button up shirt, like a flannel. I have another thermal. I have this gray long sleeve. And then I have my dickies. There's some gray dickies. Let me put these back. And then I have all my undies and stuff. Five undies, um, five pair of socks. This is all my goodies like um, razors and toothbrush and stuff like that. So pretty much ready to go. Right now, I think I'm gonna just, you know, finish up packing. I'm gonna put on my whole uniform and then I'm just gonna stream a little bit or maybe do some homework. And then I should be leaving at like 10.30. It's about to be like 8.30. So I have a little bit of time and I'm gonna show you guys how I do my commuting and how all that works. So we made it to the airport. We're here kind of early. It's like 10:44, and the flight doesn't take off till 11:59. So we get to hang out for a little bit. I usually like to go and speak to the gate agent to let them know that I listed for a jump seat, or if they have any extra seats, if I could get like a seat. But since I'm here really early, I um, gotta wait to do all that. I thought I was at the right gate, but I wasn't. So I think. The plane is here, so I should, I, I should be able to go talk to them and check in with them. But um, we'll see right now. I have to go to the gate. Check it out. Check my bag. The wheels are broken, so I have to like, I have to use it like backwards. So it kind of sucks, but hey. So I just spoke to the gate agents and they let me know that it seems like it's going to be pretty empty. So I'll be able to get a seat, which means that I can sleep tonight on the plane. So that's good because then sometimes I don't get enough rest, but I'll be able to sleep hopefully cross my fingers. If not, we land at like five in the morning so I can still take a little nap. I don't work till like 12 p.m. So wish me luck. I'm getting a little bit scared. I haven't got cleared for my seat and it's getting a little bit empty. So nothing. So let me go double check. Completely empty. So hopefully I get a seat. So we made it to Houston. I was able to get a seat, which is good because I slept on the whole flight. <laughs> so I got some rest. I'm probably gonna keep on sleeping once I get to the, the crew room. That means I get some good rest. Uh, it's currently 5 a.m. So I'll probably wake up at like 10 and then I'll start getting ready for my 12.22 flight. So we're in the crew room now. Let me show you guys the bed that I'm gonna be sleeping on. This is our bed for this morning. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much a day before, you know, coming into work or uh, a day commuting into work. You know, the flight's pretty long, but since I got a seat, you know, I was able to sleep through it. If I wouldn't have got a seat, I would have been in the jump seat and I would have been up for like three and something hours. So I'm glad I got some rest. I'm gonna keep on sleeping for a little longer. Stay tuned, everyone. I'm gonna be posting some stuff about, you know, this month's schedules. And then I'll be taking you guys along to a couple of my layovers. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. I appreciate everyone watching. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment if you have any questions and subscribe if you like the content and join the Discord. Link in the, it's in the description, you know, chop it up in the Discord. I'm trying to build a community. So you can just introduce yourself. We're, we're, we're always in there, you know, just chatting and just kind of always helping each other out with resources and just kind of having fun. So yeah, join the Discord. And if you guys enjoyed it, leave a like. I'll catch you guys later.